What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we are a full El Creamy Forms Pokemon team. Today, people, we are gonna get extra creamy, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so there's like 69 El Creamy Forms, right? I picked like six of them out there, gave them some decorations, and uh, put a cool team together. All six of these El Creamy have different sets, as usual, and I really hope you enjoy these battles. Now, today, I've got two really long battles, so I don't have like a bonus battle and stuff at the end, but I've actually got, uh, there's probably actually more narration in this video. There's a good nearly half an hour worth of narration in this video. It would have been like 40 or 50 minutes long, and I didn't really want that. So I hope you enjoy this. Once again, people, if you like the team things, please drop a like on the video. Um, that really does uh, show me you want to see some more. All right, the first battle is against a uh, Japanese person on the Ycom link. And uh, I was thinking, you know, their weapon of choice being High Dragon right at the start, right? Like, why would they do it? It's four times a week to parry. Then they uh, flash me with a flash cannon. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's a good move, right? But uh, since El Chromie has some, like, nice uh, special defensive stuff, and I'm running max health on this one, it doesn't really probably do the damage they uh, kind of desired there. So we got a physical El Creamy, uh, the mint flavor there, and uh, with a little uh, clover. And uh, this is... Uh, this actually had some pretty good success. So it actually gets a play rough, which is nice stab. It gets drain punch for steel type, so get that, that's pretty good too. It gets giga impact, which is, you know, horrible, and it also gets facade. That pretty much sums up its uh, physical moveset, but at least it gets a nice stab. All right, so we got the cloister coming out here, so I, I smelled that shell smash like a like a mile away. Like, as soon as I seen, like, the sea of it coming out, I knew that it was coming. So I was thinking, what should I do here? Should I go for a play rough? I've already got... You know, I'm already locked in. They're going to go for a Shell Smash anyway. I don't really have, like, a lot of Pokemon that could counter this, right? So, uh, we got the Shell Smash going up there from the closer. The only really bad thing is if I'm completely missed with Play Rough, that would be, like, a terrible, terrible result. The best result would be me critting it or something like that. All right, so go for the Play Rough there, playing with a little Pearl. And uh, it's actually going to drop its attack. That was really, really good there, because um, you'll be able to see why in a set. Now, I was curious... Is it going to be just the normal skill link set, which, you know, a lot of them are, or is it going to be a special one um, so that attack drop wouldn't really matter too much? I decided to go for the gamble there and uh, go for the G-spot. I mean, the Dynamax, man, we don't have a, we don't have a Gigantamax, um, how crummy. This isn't, this isn't a Gigantamax one. And uh, we're going to go really, really big here. Now, unfortunately for me, uh, I, I forgot to give this Dynamax candies. I always, like, I always forget to do it, like, every single time. Like, I'll do my whole team right, then I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll like, I might do it for, like, a few of them, then I'll just forget the rest for some reason. Anyway, it turned out to be a physical close there. It's going to fire a couple of Icicle Spheres at me, uh, actually five in a row, because it's got the Skill Link ability. And look how much difference, well, other than me being, like, a big cream pie cake, um, that negative in attack actually did. Because that was five hits there. I took it well. I think that would have nearly beat my whole team if I didn't get that attack rise. Anyway, so going for a, uh, a drain punch there, or a max knuckle drain punch, and Cloyster is going to go down. So at the moment, the opponent's probably, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're probably a little bit, um, I don't know, out of sorts uh, that they're getting beaten by a physical Al Creamy. <laughs> like, it's taking two Pokemon out. It's, uh, it's a tax that isn't the greatest in the world either. The good thing about when you go to Dynamax 2, you can use, like, uh, you're not locked into your choice item. Like, that's why it's such a, it's such a broken mechanic. All right, so expect like low key expecting a DC maybe here because like that that's two Pokemon down. I haven't even like lost one at all. I'm like, come on, man! Like you, you can send a Pokemon, you can deal with a physical Al Creamy and uh, you know take it out. So fortunately they don't DC. They'll probably just thinking what to do there. And they've got another very good count here being Corviknight. So. I don't have a lot of moves that can really do much to Corviknight, and Corviknight uh, is quite bulky as well, and it's a Steel-type Pokemon, so it's got any sort of, like, Steel-type move, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So we got Iron Head there, and Mint is going to go down, so I'm like, oh no, not Iron Head. So Iron Head's a, a nice stab move as well on Corviknight, and it has a chance of flinching too, and obviously, um, this could be, if this is speedy, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble too. So now we're going to go into Lemon. Uh, now, Le Lemon looks really cool. Oh, I, I forgot to ask you. What is your favorite Al Creamy form? Leave it below in the comment section. I hope I didn't ask that already. Be uh, asked the same question twice. So we got another Iron Head there. Lemon's going to take uh, that pretty well. And what it's going to be going for is a Tri-Attack. I'm trying to go for like a Paralysis or something like that on uh, the Corviknight. So it only does a little bit of damage. I've got the Leftover Recovery. And Al Creamy is going to go down next. So I can't swap anything into an Iron Head at all. So it's a really, really hard situation here. Like, this is a really, really solid counter. Like, there's not many moves Al Creamy even gets to even, uh, you know, hit Corviknight for super effective, let alone, you know, let alone super effective on, like, neutral attacks. So we've got another Iron Head here. Lemon is going to go down. But Lemon comes into the second game and makes some big plays. So make sure you stick around and watch this whole thing. It's absolutely insane. 
So I've lost two of my creamies uh, so far, but don't worry, guys. Um, I've still got four creams to go. So we got, uh, on this one, a special set. If you notice, I've got Mystical Fire on this one. That is my only way to take this thing out. This is Choice Scarf. I outspeed, does some pretty good damage. But unfortunately for me, right, it's got Mirror Armor. Now, Mirror Armor is going to throw that special attack drop back at me. So I'm going to have to, like, swap out. Um, I, I cannot I cannot risk it, right? I cannot risk not taking this out because I really need my, um... I really need my Choice Scarf one. It was very, actually, the Choice Scarf, um... Our cream is actually really, really good. So we're going to go to Rainbow here. Rainbow was uh, probably the most awful set I've got on my team. All it has is Metronome. But um, I actually may do a Metronome battle this generation. It's been a while. What do you guys think? Would you like to see a Metronome battle? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, so Rainbow is going to go down there. I had to sack it off because I've got to swap back into my Al Creamy now. Now, a fun fact, if I do take the Corvidon out in one shot, which I'm very confident I will, you won't get the drop from Mirror Armor. So you can keep like sweeping or whatever. Do whatever you like. Okay, people, here we go. We've got to take this Corvidon out. It's not going to take itself out. Go for that big mystical fire and Corvidon is going to go down. So we've taken three of the team out now. Like, all of those Pokemon were no joke. Well, I mean, all right, like, look, real talk. Like, High Dragon was probably never a problem, right? I was, I had a move to take that out. But Cloyster and um, Corviknight, that, that were no joke Pokemon. They, they, were, they were definitely, uh, especially Corviknight, very good counters for this team. All right, so they got three Pokemon left here. Now, I actually did a couple of little cuts here so you wouldn't come up with, like, all my team. So I've done just some minimal cuts. Um, but I've done enough, so I have enough to talk about stuff. All right, so Togekiss is going to come in. This could be a problem because it's very, very bulky. So now we're going to go into Vanilla. Now, this is my big cake Pokemon. However, I've already um, Dynamax in the uh, in this battle, so I can't G-Spot. So now we've got this uh, a, a big Togekiss, right? So uh, we've got big Togekiss coming out here. This thing is going to be so bulky, like... Oh my goodness, and I was like, okay, it's probably going to have, like, Max Airstream, Air Slash. I mean, the only good thing about that, right, is, like, you know, I can't get flinched or anything. Right, big, look at that big Togus, man. Woo. All right, so we got Max Flare, so that's probably coming off, like, a uh, Flamethrower. And uh, that's going to do some decent damage to me, so they're going to pop that, um, they're going to pop that Sun on the field. So the next one will hit me a lot harder. Probably, uh, well, it'd be very, very close to taking me out. So this is a Sweet Kiss Last Resort set. So what you do, right, is you pucker up your lips, right? Because this is an our creamy team. You, we've got to have some kissing involved, right? I mean, there's cream and there's kissing involved. What else could there be? So we're going to go for a kiss, right? And then we're going to go for a Last Resort. So we've got a, uh, a Max Attack and Max Health set on this one. It's going to go for Max Airstream, too. That uh, does some pretty good damage. And now we've got some chickens flying around those red clouds, man. Look at, look at, look how big the chickens are. All right, so now I can go for the Last Resort. It's not going to, uh, real talk, it's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's going to do, like, some damage, right? This is uh, Adamant Nature, too. All right, so Tokus is going to go for another Max Airstream. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that Last Resort up. Dang. Now, I wish I could have. So we got uh, another one of my our creamy forms going down, and things are looking pretty um, not looking too good at the moment because this has another uh, this has another form. Um, sorry, Dynamax form still to go. So setting out salted, yes, we're gonna have salted. No, it doesn't. Sorry, that was its third one. So that was pretty good because I got to burn up all four. Um, sorry, three turns of the Dynamax. So Salted was probably one of the best sets of my team. It required a little bit of setup though, but uh, man, it had some really good results. Now I'm actually been trying to do this one for a Pokemon sweep too, so maybe I can get one uh, going this week if I invest a little bit more time in it. So we got the Tokus coming out, and we got the Grim Snarl coming in. So I'm gonna go, on that swap. I'm gonna go for the Calm Mind there, and that's gonna boost my Special Defense and Special Attack. Now this is a very very bulky build. It's Max Health and Max Defense. Now, I've only got one attacking move being Draining Kiss, but Draining Kiss uh, gives me health back. Uh, it gives me 75% of the health back, which is pretty nice uh, for a, like a, you know, like a move, like a draining move. Sorry, I had that uh, move on the tip of my tongue. Couldn't say it. So go for the Aqua, Aqua Ring. Accident that, guys, the Aqua Armor. I just come up with a really good move. So say if you're a water type Pokemon, right? I'm also going to hit if I Spirit Break. Say if you're a water type Pokemon and it's, uh, it's raining and you have... Um, I don't know, you have the ability Aqua Armor, you get like a, every stage you get like a, uh, a plus one in defense while it's raining. How good is that ability? Man, I keep coming up with them. So we got a bulk up there coming from the Grim Snail. It's going to be boosting its uh, stats there, which is fine. I've got, um, I've got Acid Armor, so it's not going to be able to break through my defense. It's very easy. Plus, I've got Draining Kiss, which is going to be very, very good, uh, being super effective, and it's going to get me some health back. So I'm not really worried about this. The, I've got one other Pokemon that I'm a little bit worried about, and that Togekiss is going to take quite a few Calm Minds to get through. So I've got to calm my mind and boost my stats. Now, also, when you uh, have, like, a bulky build like this, there's always stuff like Critical Hits that, uh, you know, always a really bad thing, too. All right, so Play Rough is going to miss there. Man, can you imagine playing rough with those big, like, look at those hands, man. That's not Play Rough. That's 
that actually that 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 is play rough. So we're gonna go for a uh, draining kiss here on the Grim Snail. I'll give it a little kiss again, man. How many kisses have been in this battle? And uh, Grim Snail takes some heavy damage there, and I'm gonna heal myself off, which is really nice. All right, this is the uh, salted with the. I didn't even say what the uh, little th decorations were. Salted with the berry, uh, the blue the blueberry. There's so many of them, like this crazy. Crazy ones of them. I'll, I'll go through what the decorations are in the next battle as they come out too. Oh, right. So now I can go for another draining kiss and take the Grim Snail out. And uh, that is definitely going to go down. Now, I'm not too worried about Tokus. I think I can easily outplay that. But, um, unless it critted me and flinched me with like Air Slash and stuff like that. That would probably be the only thing I had. Maybe it have Roost or something like that. But I I'm confident if I get plus six in attack, I'm definitely a special attack. I'm definitely going to win that matchup, right? Right, so now they've got a little bit to think about now because I'm well set up. I've got an acid armor up. I've got a couple of car mines up. I'm very bulky. And the last Pokemon is the Arcanine. So Arcanine is going to be our resist my draining kiss. This was probably the longer, probably the most lengthy part of the battle. So we've got an extreme speed here. Now I'm guessing they didn't use Flare Blitz because they don't want to lose any uh, health. But the problem about them not going for Flare Blitz is one, it's weak. And two, I've got a lot of boosts already. And, you know, three, I can basically heal up all of Extreme Speed's damage with the Draining Kiss. Now, my problem is I don't have a lot of damage coming off Draining Kiss. And if they got something like Morning Sun, I could be in a bit of trouble, right? Uh, so we've got a uh, will o -Wisp coming from the Arcanine. Um, it, if it, it could have Morning Sun at this point. And, like, Flare Blitz is the other move. So I've got to go for a couple more Calm Mines. Now, the problem with going up, like, like lots of Calm Mines like this, they can actually have a chance of critting you while you're boosting. And if you get... If you get a low, like on a low amount of health and they outspeed you, it could be really, really bad. So I didn't want that. I didn't want to do too many car mines. I was like, I know I've got, I've got tokens, right? I'm very, very sure I've got tokens. So then instead of going for that, they went for a wild charge. I'm like, okay, well, at least that's going to do the same thing. Now, I will say, even if they did use a, fl um, a Flare Blitz, it wasn't going to do a lot of damage. It wasn't going to do much more than, uh, you know, Wild Charge. I was very, very bulky. I reckon um, it probably, even if they did it, I would have got all my health back regardless. Like, the burn's pretty much the only thing giving them some damage at the moment. I'm guessing they're hoping for a crit. Uh, so going for another Draining Kiss, I reckon like two or three more will be enough to take it out. Unfortunately, since Wild Charge, they, they actually have not much to lose here because um, Wild Charge isn't doing a lot of damage, right? So they're not like losing like a lot of recall. So I just keep going for that. that that's that's their, their only way to get through my Salted El Creamy <laughs> is to get a crit. All right, so I was very, very close to actually taking him out. And then they ate a freaking berry, man. They ate a berry. So that is a citrus berry. I mean, at least it wasn't, you know, like Ag Wave Berry or something like that. Now, all I gotta do is just keep going for draining because the only thing I could be worried about here is if I run out of PP. But I'm very, very certain I can actually take uh, the Tokis out in like, you know, one to two hits, right? Unless it has Roost. Roost is like the, like healing Roost at the moment are the only things I'm really worried about. Because say if I miss, like, say if I get rid of all my draining kisses, I can't do anything. All I can do is like just, you know, use rest and stuff like that. And now my item on this one is Chesto Berry as well. So we got Chesto Berry, Carmine, Rest, and Draining Kiss. Um, acid armor, you know, that that's the set. It's a very bulky set. You could probably run it with another move like, um, you know, something did steal or uh, those sort of moves. I just want to run like a super bulky one. So go for another car, mind you. I'm starting to think ahead of time if the Tokus does have a healing move, I would like to actually start attacking it right away in case I got like a uh, flinch or something annoying like that. The good thing is I can't get like paralyzed because I'm already burned from the Arcanine, right? So, Arcanine uh, is going to probably have like two more turns left, and now I can go for the Draining Kiss. We got another Wild Charge from the Arcanine. It's starting to get a little bit of damage on me, but that's only because I haven't attacked. So, going for a final Carmine, the next one will be enough to take it out, and then I'll have enough boost to actually take out the Tokus within like a couple of hits. I think we're at about mm, plus four or five at the moment, so we've got some good boost um, like on both sides. And plus, even if Tokus does flinch me a couple of turns, it's not going to do a lot of damage, right? That that's that's the that's the main thing I was worried about. Like a couple of finches, then like some critical hits after that. All right, so Arcanine's nearly got me. Well, very very close got me to like half health. We're going to go for a final draining kiss there on the Arcanine, and Arcanine is going to go down. We got one more poker left, people. This has been a uh, quite a marathon of a battle here against this uh, person. So we got the Tokus left now. We got our uh, two El Creamy forms left now. My other El Creamy form really can't do too much. That was the special attacking one. So that was that was definitely going to go down to Tokus, right? I kind of made that decision that I didn't really need it anymore. So the last poker we got, obviously, is a Tokus. I'm just going to go directly for Draining Kiss and see if I can take this thing out. You know, no games or anything like that. So I'm waiting for him to make the move. I was like, please don't DC here. We've had a really good battle. And they went for a Yawn. So Yawn, obviously, is not going to affect me because 
I am already burned, right? So it's not going to have another status. I personally don't think they can do anything here. I think they're just, uh, you know, they're going for Yawn. They sort of like accepted the, you know, they're not going to be able to get around my Alcremie. And that's pretty much game. So they, they had Yawn. I'd say they would have had Air Slash, uh, Flamethrower coming off that. And they, they, they have nothing to take me out. Like, even if I had no boost, there's no way they could have actually beat me. And uh, thank you very much for the game, Japanese person. If you ever watch this battle, um, good game. And uh, thank you for not uh, disconnecting at the end there too. Like, lots of people probably would have disconnected there. Investing at our creamy forms team. All right, battle number two, people. Battle number two. Also, I'm keeping the player cards in. Do you guys like having the player cards in there? I can keep them in for the theme teams of Pokemon sweeps if you like. Just, just let me know if you like them. Um, I, I don't know. They're, they're kind of funny, so I thought I'd leave them in. All right, the next battle was against uh, Tyrrell. This one was also on the Ycom link. And we got a Hatterene lead. So good to see Hatterene. It's also shiny as well. Don't mind the shiny one. Um, now, I'm starting things off with Mint again. I normally lead with Mint in all the battles. So the best play here was to go for the play rough. And uh, now we're going to go for the play rough. It's going to be a two hit KO. And we've got a Trick Room uh, interesting kind of lead here. Now I looked at the rest of the team, right? I was like, some of their Pokemon actually aren't that, you know, slow. So I was wondering, do they have like half a Trick Room team and half like a, a speedy team? Anyway, we've got a Mystical Fire here. Maybe thinking oh, it was like a mix set. Um, and they're going to drop my special attack. I mean, they could have gone for a Psychic. It would have done a little bit more damage. But it, yeah, it definitely wouldn't have done much. Uh, you know, really bothered me there. And Hatterene is going to go down. So that was pretty much just a Trick Room Pokemon. So the Trick Room is set up now. Now, this is the part which got me. So the next Pokemon that comes in is the Galvantia. I was like, okay, Galvantia, that's not a slow Pokemon. Maybe they thought they could set the Trick Room up and sort of like sweep my team with um, with the Hatterene. And then, you know, when the Trick Rooms run out, they can bring in this more speedier Pokemon. So I was like, okay, let's go for Play Rough. Let's make use of that Trick Room. And then the, the girl actually lived on one hill. It didn't even have a focus sash. I can't believe that. That sticky web there, that sticky web being placed on the field was actually very, very important. Uh, as you guys will find out maybe later on in the game. So I can go for another play rough to take out the Galvantula, or I can swap. I just went for another play rough, and Galvantula is down. So I've got a pretty steady lead at the moment. So I've taken Hatterene and Galvantula. So they're pretty good Pokemon to bury, but they've got they have got some pretty good Pokemon still to come. So I was like, it's nice to get a little lead, but battle like things of Pokemon battles, people. You can get an early lead. Um, normally I'm a person who doesn't really get it early. Normally I finish, you know, really well, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that wasn't even meant to sound like that. But yeah, that's normally how I battle. I sort of battle better at the end, or I, I sort of, like, it, it, the, the big plays are the most important ones. It's not who's, it's sort of like, it, you can take anything in life, right? It's not who's winning at the start, it's who's, like, won at the end, I guess you could say. Right, so Chandelier was a big, big problem here, people. Um, I didn't have a lot to, actually, I didn't have anything to hit this at all, really. I'm going to hit by a Shadow Ball, and Mint is going to go down. I mean, Play Rough was my best option there. There was no point in me swapping out, too, because this thing has a sizable special attack, right? Now, Rainbow is going to come in, and we're going to see if we can get some uh, finger-waggling action going on here. So we've got a Heat Wave coming from the Chandelier. I was kind of low-key hoping it would miss. It's it's a 3 hit KO, which is pretty good there. If it does get a crit, I could be in a little bit of trouble. So I'm hoping I get like a like a Water-type move, but I get a Bug Buzz. Oh, Bug Buzz. That's going to do nothing on Chandelier. So uh, Bug Buzz does about negative one uh, you know, a damage to the Chandelier. Chandelier's going to go for another Heat Wave. I live on 6 D9 health. I can go for another Metroid here. Hope I can get like... Imagine Hydro Pump, Storm Throw. Man, could you imagine Storm throwing a ghost? You'd like pretty much fall through the ghost and just like hit the brick wall. So Alcremie is going to go down there. Unfortunately, Rainbow Alcremie did nothing again. Now, there was one battle where it actually did something. But um, I'm trying to remember what happened right. Uh, it, it was super funny. It didn't cause a DC, but they must have been salty. I, I got like an electric type move and it was against a four times weak Pokemon. Anyway, regardless, we got to take the Chandelure out because it's a big, big problem here. So speaking of big things, we're going to go for a Dynamax Al Creamy. Now, this wasn't the big cake. This was... Oh, I, I forgot to take my uh, my decoration. You guys probably know what the decorations are anyway. Uh, so this is Caramel. So this is my big, big Caramel here. I don't think I Dynamax Candy this one. Damn. <laughs> okay, anyway, I didn't Dynamax Candy this one. But you know what? You guys just need to start roasting me every time I don't, don't like Dynamax Candy. So we're going for a uh, Mindstorm here. That's coming off uh, Psyshock. Psyshock. This is my Choice Scarf set. This Choice Scarf set was probably one of the best sets on my team, actually. Surprisingly, right? So we've got... Um, you guys have seen all my moves. The other move I had was the Energy Ball in there. That was the other move that I didn't use. I had Mystical Fire as well and Dazzling Gleam. 
So I can go for a Max Mindstorm there. Now, the good thing about Max Mindstorm, it puts that Psychic Terrain in the field too. If any priority moves are, you know, try and come in, they are going to get wrecked. So down goes Chandelure. The good thing is too, I wasn't super fast when I was, um... I, I mean, I was, I was a little bit more faster than usual, but I didn't have the Choice Scarf. And then after, um... After I was Dynamax, right, I still had the Choice Scarf, so I could, like, pick another move, which was really nice. Unfortunately, this Serena Williams came in here, was, uh, got, got onto the tennis court, got really, really big, and, uh, man, is it, basically, I'm gonna, I'm about to get Ace right here. So we got, uh, Serena coming up. This thing is very, very, it's, it's reasonably bulky, it's got good offense, and uh, it's, it's a big worry, people, it's a really big worry. Man, look at the, 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 those hips, though. All right, <laughs> we got we got Max Knuckle coming from uh, the Serena. It's going to boost its attack plus one. And this thing is going to absolutely, like, destroy me. So any grass move at the moment is going to wreck me. It's also got the Life Orb, too, so it's doing, it's doing a lot of damage. My last hope here is to get, like, some big damage with Max Lair coming off Mystical Fire. It doesn't do as much as I kind of hope there. And uh, unfortunately, my little ice cream cone is going to be small. It's sort of like, right, you go to the ice cream shop, you get like a, um, you get one of those big cones. Like, you know, the lady's like, yeah, how many scoops you want? You're like, damn, son, I want like four scoops. She's scooping it up, right? She's scooping it up. You grab the ice cream, you get distracted for one second, and then look back at like three of those scoops on the ground, man. And you're crying like a three-year-old because your ice cream's on the ground. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to me. I was sad. I was like a little kid. Anyway, so I'm going to hit by uh, like a max overgrowth. And my creamy's gonna go down. I've only got three L creamies, and there's a grassy terrain on the field. Things are not looking too creamy at the moment, I can tell you that. Um, man, they, this Dynamaxing is so broken. Like, to be able to put, like, the grassy terrain on the field, the rain, the sun, like, it's, and, and also, like, Max Knuckle, Max Airstream, it's so powerful. Like, you can make a lot of Pokemon that aren't really super viable, like, actually viable, right? So we're gonna go into the sweet kiss last resort of uh, vanilla, a uh, vanilla flavor, or vanilla cream. All right, um, why don't you do those vanilla cream slice you get? They're like, uh, they're like pink and they look like pink, and you you you, you eat them. So we got a uh, a boost in a uh, attack for a max knuckle. This thing's got plus two in attack. The terrain's on the field, and sweet kiss misses. If only sweet kiss hit there. Because that would have been like really, really good. So I'm gonna get some health back, which doesn't matter at all. Because at this at this point in the time, I'm gonna be able to go down to a tackle. Now, <laughs> you, uh, since I said that, you guys are gonna laugh, right? So I was like, okay, uh, this is pretty much uh, it's pretty much game here. I can't do anything. They went for a rapid spin. Rapid spin nearly takes me out, but I live. Oh my goodness! And they tried to disrespect me with rapid spin there, and I ended up living. And now I can go for the last resort, and <laughs> last resort's actually gonna be enough to take out the Serena. <laughs> Man, they must be so salty after that. They try to rapid spin sweep me. Who who do they think they're versing? Right, that, that's what I do. So we got four we got four Pokemon down, and our next Pokemon is the Glade. Now remember in the first battle how I was talking about um, how the lemon flavor was gonna come in and do some crazy shenanigans. This is the time, the prime time. Uh, down goes my fourth Al Creamy, by the way. We've only got two Al Creamies left. Now I've got salted and lemon left. So I thought, you know, we'll leave salted to last. He might be able to come and clutch. And uh, we'll see what Lemon can do. Now, this was a very... This was probably the most annoying move set on my team. So, we've got Attract, Sweet Kiss, Try Attack, and Recover. So, what we want to do first is... We want to you know, become, like, really good friends with this Gallade, if you know what I mean. So, we want to Attract. And then we want to start going for stuff like um, Sweet Kiss, right? So, we've got a Leaf Blade there. Leaf Blade does some pretty good damage to me. It's about a three-hit KO. And uh, we got an Attract here on the Gallade. So, Gallade's going to get infatuated. Now, they could swap out. Or maybe they won't swap out. One second, guys. I just got a. Oh my my! Something's come off my phone, and it's it's um, it's, it's really weird. Uh, one second. Done. Okay. Uh, now we got the. I had to I had to like send a text message while narrating at the same time. So I can go for a sweet kiss and a track here. So that's going to be infatuated and confused at the same time. Now there is one other Pokemon left that I'm kind of worried about, but I'm not really sure what um, you know they're going to do. Are they going to stay in or not? They decide to stay in, which is uh, you know, really really good for me. So we got the infatuation up. We got the confusion. The chances of them attacking are not very high at all, right? So they get infatuated, which is really good there. And the leftovers is going to give me some recovery. Now we can start to go for Flav. The uh, third part of the plan is going for some um, some uh, tri-attack hacks. Hoping we can get something good. So now Gallade is going to uh, get through the confusion there. It's in love with me. And it gets through. And now it's going to Psycho cut me. Psycho cut almost takes me out with a crit there. 
Holy moly. I can't believe it got like through all of them. So I'm like, please give me something good. I need something like super good here. Try attack does some good damage and we get a free sack. I cannot believe I got a free sack. So like, that was the perfect, perfect status to get out of all of them, right? Um, they could be frozen for one turn. They could be frozen for the rest of the battle. I'm not sure. So first things first, I thought, okay. Well, let's put things into perspective here. They're probably going to be frozen the next turn, right? If I go for recover, heal myself off, I might be able to start all these shenanigans all over again on the next Pokemon. So healing myself up, that's enough health because the leftover is going to give me a lot of, uh, you know, healing back. And now I can just freely go for the try attack over and over and over again. Hopefully they don't, uh, d like, thaw out and uh, wreck me in one shot with the Psychic card. But the chance of them doing something isn't very high unless they swap out and swap back in. Then their other Pokemon's going to have to take the chance of, uh, you know, getting hit by a tri attack. All right, so Glade is going to be frozen there. tri attack is looking about a four-hit KO, so firing those tri attacks off again. I actually quite like the tri attack animation. looks really cool. Now, each turn, I'm getting some leftover recovery now, like, back on my little lemon as well. This is a strawberry lemon, too. You can see the little strawberry on there. Little strawberry, bro. So, with the uh, decorations, it actually changes the color of their eyes and the decoration um, in front of them, like the little bow thing. Then, you see, when it goes into the big girl cream, it's got all, like, the little bows on the big cake. So, go for another try attack on the Glade. Glade has only, like, got one more turn. I was going to get, like, who would have thought in this situation, like, a lemon al creamy using those words? Like, who would win, like, before this? Like, Everyone would pick Galade to win, but it didn't win. It got frozen every single time due to some crazy RNG. And now Galade is going to go down to the Tri-Attack Man. That, that, if, if, if anything deserved to like, it was that Al Creamy. Like, holy, holy crap, that was so good. So, the last Pokemon left, and this Pokemon was a very, very scary Pokemon. Even though I had the type advantage, you might be able to guess what Pokemon it is. Um, it does hit extremely hard. So, it's Draco versus the last Pokemon. In this stage, it was like... Should I go for a Tri-Attack or just go for a Sweet Kiss? I went for a Tri-Attack, but Fishius Rent is going to one-shot me. There's nothing I could have done there. This Pokemon is overpowered. Like, this Pokemon is better, like, is better than all my Pokemon team combined. Oh, right. The last Pokemon we got is the Salted Al Creamy. I can't do much here. Like, I, if I could go for the Acid Armor or I could just go for, um, like, a Draining Kiss. Decided to go for Acid Armor and Fishius Rent is going to one-shot me. Nothing I could have done there. That Pokemon is OP. Thank you for the battle, uh, Tyrrell. Hope you enjoyed my Al Creamy team. I really pushed that team into a corner. All right, people. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.